The dawn of a new era in astronomy has begun as the world gets its first look at the full capabilities of the NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. The telescope's first full-color images and spectroscopic data, which uncover a spectacular collection of cosmic features that have remained elusive until now, were released recently, and they are truly breathtaking. So, what can we learn from James Webb's first images of the universe? Let's find out. Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about groundbreaking images of distant galaxies and stars taken by James Webb Telescope. So, if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. Webb's first observations tell the story of the hidden universe through every phase of cosmic history from neighboring exoplanets to the most distant observable galaxies in the early universe to everything in between. The universe's splendor and breadth are on display like never before, thanks to a new batch of images that NASA released from the James Webb Space Telescope. Among these pictures, NASA has also unveiled a beautiful picture which shows a foamy blue and orange shot of a dying star. So the first image from the $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope was released at the White House, a jumble of distant galaxies that went deeper into the cosmos than humanity has ever seen. The four additional photos released later on included more cosmic beauty shots. With one exception, the latest images showed parts of the universe seen by other telescopes, but Webb's sheer power, distant location, off Earth and use of the infrared light spectrum showed them in a new light. Every image is a new discovery, and each will give humanity a view of the humanity that we've never seen before, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said, speaking enthusiastically about the images showing the formation of stars devouring black holes. Webb's use of the infrared light spectrum allows the telescope to see through the cosmic dust and see the light from far away light from the corners of the universe, he said. The European and Canadian space agencies joined NASA in building this powerful telescope, and it looks like all the hard work has paid off, because these images have really changed our understanding of the universe. According to NASA's Jane Rigby, the operations project scientist for the James Webb Space Telescope, that's something that's been true for every image we've gotten with Webb. We can't take blank sky images. Everywhere we look, there's galaxies everywhere, she added. Talking about the images revealed, they reflect five areas of space that researchers agreed to target. The exoplanet WASP-96b, the Southern Ring Nebula, the Carina Nebula, Stefan's Quintet, five galaxies in the constellation Pegasus, and the galaxy cluster SMAX 0723. One of the most eye-popping images released on Tuesday depicts what looks to be cosmic cliffs, valleys, and mountains, albeit with mountains that stretch to seven light years in height. The image captures part of a stellar nursery called NG3324 at the northwest corner of the Carina Nebula, which is roughly 7,600 light years from Earth. According to NASA, the blistering ultraviolet radiation from the young stars is sculpting the nebula's wall by slowly eroding it away. Dramatic pillars tower above the glowing wall of gas, resisting this radiation. The steam that appears to rise from the celestial mountains is actually hot ionized gas and hot dust streaming away from the nebula due to the relentless radiation. Adding to this, the tight galaxy group called Stefan's Quintet is a laboratory for scientists to study the powerful effects galaxies can exert on each other, thanks to new data from the Webb Telescope. Researchers hope to learn more about how galaxies merge and interact, including triggering each other to form new stars and how those processes might be impacted by supermassive black holes. The image casts the quintet in a new light, after they represented angels in Frank Capra's classic film, It's a Wonderful Life. This enormous mosaic is Webb's largest image to date, covering about one-fifth of the moon's diameter, NASA said. It contains over 150 million pixels and is constructed from almost 1,000 separate image files. 
Additionally, James Webb also caught a dying star, and the shot is truly amazing. Webb pulled the veil back on the second star in the Southern Ring Nebula using mid-infrared wavelengths to capture it in extraordinary detail. The star closely orbits its companion as it periodically ejects layers of gas and dust, NASA said. Together, the swirling duo have created a fantastic landscape of asymmetrical shells. The new image shows the nebula from a nearly head-on view. But if we could see it from its edge, NASA says, its three-dimensional shape would more clearly look like two bowls placed together at the bottom, opening away from one another with a large hole at the center. Apart from this, Webb also delivered a portrait of a puffy giant. Thinking about it, WASP-96b is a giant planet outside our solar system, composed mainly of gas. The planet, located nearly 1,150 light years from Earth, orbits its star every 3.4 days, and it has about half the mass of Jupiter, and its discovery was announced in 2014. The agency didn't release a photo, but rather a spectrum analysis of WASP-96b's atmosphere garnered from Webb sighting the WASP-96b as it transited in front of a star. The analysis found the chemical fingerprint of water in the atmosphere, said Nicole Cullen, a research astrophysicist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. So, these images released by NASA are a look at some of the universe's first galaxies ever. As mentioned before, the trove of images came one day after a jaw-dropping first image was published by NASA and the White House more than six months after the telescope was launched from Earth. That first image showed the galaxy cluster SMAX 0723, known as Webb's first deep field. If you held a grain of sand on the tip of your finger at arm's length, that is the part of the universe you are seeing just one little speck of the universe, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said. But that speck contains multitudes, and thanks to the telescope's deep and sharp infrared images, Earthlings are getting a more detailed look at distant galaxies than was ever possible. So that first image comprises thousands of galaxies, with even faint and diffuse structures visible for the first time. This deep field, taken by Webb's near-infrared camera, NearCam, is a composite made from images at different wavelengths, totaling 12.5 hours, achieving depths at infrared wavelengths beyond the Hubble Space Telescope's deepest fields, which took weeks, NASA said. Therefore, the stunning displays amount to a rich lesson in the history of the universe. Some of the galaxies are more than 13 billion years old, meaning they formed relatively soon after the Big Bang. For instance, the images of galaxy cluster SMAX 0723 amounts to a snapshot from 4.6 billion years ago. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.